Hello everybody, welcome back to the High School Esports League. We're going to be getting right into Rocket League because we are so far behind schedule. Thomas will be her commentator. I'm going to wrap it right to you. How you doing, Thomas? I'm doing great. I'm really excited for this intense match. It is obviously the holiday finals for HSEL. The winner of this match will get $600 worth of varsity points. And the loser will only get 150 very, very intense match, and they're competing for a lot. Also, on top of that, they also get paid bid in the Nationals for HSEL, a massive tournament with a combined prize pool for all the games of $50,000 worth of V-Points, which you can spend on scholarships and other stuff that we will be announcing very shortly. Now, it looks like we're going to get right into this match. Blue side will be the Mustangs, and the orange side will be the Generals. So we're going to get right into this match. Already extremely aggressive from the general side. And it, it does look like it's going to go on to the Mustang side for a while, but they're trying to get it out. As I say that, Stripe Apple does get it onto the side of the generals, but they hit it away. Still trying to get it in, and that might be a chance. Fifth and four can block it, and Jovski gets a goal. The Mustangs are up 1-2-0. Oh. Yeah, really good corner shot, and just hits it right in. Fifth and four tries to, but just not able to block it. And already up 1-2-0, 40 seconds into the match. It did take a while, but it's shaping up to be a really intense one. It does look like they are going for a 3-0, three on offense, but... I don't know if that's going to work, especially with the Mustangs. They're so good with these aerials, as you can tell already. Especially with Wraith being on the defense, but as I say that, Wraith not able to defend it. Hemagon being... Ultra aggressive, and Braith tries to block it, but his teammates don't have the boost to come in and save it, so it's all on Braith to solo defend, and he just can't do it. And now it's one to one tied already a minute into this match, shaping up to be a really intense one. Hemagum does get first touch, Joski hits it in, and it actually goes in. It looks like Hoyts and Fifth and Four actually bump into each other. It did look like Hoyts was, in a sense, disabling 5th and 4th. He couldn't go in to defend it, and just a really good goal. And already we're going to go into it. Mustangs are up, but it's obviously going to be pretty easy to actually get back, come back from this. Only one goal to tie the match up, and with 3 and a quarter, or 3 quarters left, I mean, anything is possible. Does look like the generals are going to be very offensive about this, but not able to get the goal. They're trying to center it on the general side, but not able to get one yet. Generals try to hit it in. Jovski is there for the defense. Fifth and four also tries, but Hoyts is there as well. The Mustangs are so good at being able to change up their lineup so quickly. Because they have so much boost built up, they're very conservative about it, as we saw in the semi-finals. Um, so it's just really tough, not only offense to deal with, but defense as well. Hemagum, the main defense, does a good job of it, but Wraith and Hoyts try to hit it in. Now at Able, Hemagum does hit it into the corner. Teammates can't capitalize off of it for now. App Striped does try to, not able to. And Fifth tries to get a corner goal. Great to stay for the defense. Fifth tries to center it for his team, but not able to. And now this is where it gets scary. Mustangs are trying to go in for the goal, and it and it didn't look like anyone was there for the defense on the general side, but luckily they came in. Joski blocking it, making sure it can't get even near to their goal. And Braith trying to aerial it hit it to Hoyts. Hoyts not in a position to do so, actually just goes back into the goal. Striped trying to center it. Hoyts with an amazing block, hitting it all the way back over the 5th and 4th in the enemy goal. Mustangs are up 1, but it's looking like a really strong defense coming out of them. 
the generals are going to have to find a way to break this, or else it is going to go the way of the Mustangs. But there is two minutes left. I'm not going to call anything yet, but with the performance we've been seeing from the Mustangs, it is very possible that this is just going to be a defensive shutout. Hemigum hitting it over. Oh, it's trying to get an aerial, just not enough boost. Wasn't high enough. They try to hit it in. Hemigum misses, but it just goes off the rim. Fifth and four is there to defend as well, and that was so scary. It was almost a 3-1 match, but they just couldn't do it. Joski hits it. It goes off the rim, but Hoitz is there. Hits it in, and it's a 3-1. There's so many missed shots, but luckily they're able to capitalize. Joski does actually center it. Hoitz does hit it in. Fifth and four tries to defend it, but go actually uh, goes a bit too far out of the goal. Trying to make sure he can get it out of their goal so they can get one, but... Not able to, and it cost them. 3-1 to one in favor of the Mustangs. Just really good showing for them this season. But it's definitely possible for the Generals. They do have three on the defense. Braith trying to get it in! The Hemigum's there for the defense. It was so close, but just not able to. And it was so scary for a second there. They're hitting it into the goal, but they have points there on the defense. Hemigum trying to get a corner shot, not able to. Hoyts is there to defend. Stripe also trying to, but they are going to have to get two goals in 45 seconds. Not looking possible, especially with the defense coming out. Looks like the Mustangs are just trying to be defensive with the 2 on Wraith, and I think that is Hoyts on the defense. And now they even have three. It does look like they hit it, but just not enough. In 30 seconds remaining, the alarm is going off. They need to do something, or this will be the first match going the way of the Mustangs. Braith hitting it away. All of them have to go back now. Striped Apple and Hemagum do. And actually, the Mustangs get a goal. 4 to 1. 13 seconds left. It, I don't think this is possible. Jovski tried accident. Actually, Hemagum accidentally censored, centered it, and Jovski just capitalized this off of it. Says, hey, thank you for that. Thank you for the center very much, sir. And I'm just going to hit it in. And it's 4 to 1. 13 seconds left. Jovski. Does hit it close to their goal, but can't get that stinger in, in a sense. Not to win the match or do, but just to put a little salt in the wound. But the ma the first match will go 4-1 to one in favor of the Mustangs. Really strong showing from them in the semifinals. It was streamed. If you missed that, you should check it out. You do need to subscribe. I'd highly recommend it. You can watch all of your matches, all of the replays, not just for the match or for the game you're participating in, but for any game, you know, Counter-Strike, and actually the upcoming games as well, such as Smite and Injustice 2. But, really strong game, I'd recommend watching it if you can. Just really, really good defense, just like we're seeing now with the Mustangs. And, I don't know, it's going to be a tough case to crack for the Generals. They need to figure out something, because that first match was not a good showing. 4-1 is a really strong match for the Mustangs, and they know it, and I think they're probably going to carry this in. So, it does look like Hemigum already gets a goal, actually. They they do get, I think they got first touch, and they, yeah, they did. They get first touch, they center it, and Hemigum, straight from the corner, hits it in. Braith not able to defend, and that's the start that the generals needed. They needed that velocity coming into this match, making sure that they know, hey guys, we're in it to win it. We can do this. We need to go in and get this second match over with and win. And that looks like it, that's what they're doing. Generals already on just being extremely aggressive. They do have Hoyts and Jovski there to defend. That was just a bit off. Jovski was, I don't know, dilly-dallying in a sense around and that is not what you wanted. Hemagum tries to aerial. Not possible. It is centered. He's trying to bicycle hit it. Not able to. Hemagum tries to, but just can't capitalize off of it. Not fast enough. Not enough velocity. I think there's Striped Apple trying to center it for his team. Not able to as well. It is going to maybe go in, but Joski defends almost by Striped Apple. Very close. Generals are up by one. But they are down by one match, so it is going to be interesting to see how they come back from this. 
It is on the general side, Jovski trying to center it for his team. Actually demolishes Hemigum. I don't think that was intentional, but he does it anyway. Wraith hitting it back over. Fifth and forward, trying to aerial hit it back. Oit's actually missing. And Hemigum capitalizing off of that miss. Hitting it all the way back onto the Mustang side. Jovski hits it. Hemigum with a nice aerial block. But Hoyt replies. Striped Apple also replies to that, and it's just an aerial battle for a while there. Joski tries to hit it from the corner, and he actually... That is so frustrating. That was so quick, too. Straight from the come around, Joski just hits it like that. Striped Apple accidentally touches it, and just such a quick goal. I couldn't even commentate that fast. Joski got it in so fast, and... Out of nowhere, Joski finds it. With that tiny gap, and... Already it's tied. Hemigum trying to aerial hit it, doesn't. He, sh he bicycle hits it into Stripe, but not able to get a goal out of it. Fifth and four is there to defend. Stripe actually kind of hits it towards his goal, but I think he's trying to pass it. Stripe does aerial hit it a bit out. Oits hits it in, fifth and four, and Hemigum are there to defend. Wraith taking out and demolishing Stripe Apple. Fifth and four hitting it, and so is Hemigum, and now this is scary. But, now this is really scary. Striped Apple actually hits it in. He gets an aerial and hits it in from the top, and it's there's nothing they can do. Really strong match. They thought they blocked it. Braith did. But, nope. Striped Apple comes in from the top after getting the rim shot and just hits it in. And now it's 2-1 to one in favor of the Generals. There is 2 minutes and about 45 seconds now left in the match. It's 5th and 4. Oh, no. Oh no! Joski gets the first touch. Hemig it gets hit off of Hemigum. Fifth and four, trying to go it towards the ball, <laughs> hits it into their goal, and that ties the match up. He says it's his fault, and that is a mistake that the generals desperately needed not to happen. And now it's a tied match out of nowhere. Which trying to hit it in. Hemigum does hit it back though. Wraith hits it in, Striped Apple, clutch defense coming out, Hemigum trying to hit it in, Joski does block it, but 5th and 4 is there, trying to center it, Wraith does actually, opposite of that, centers it for his team, I think that was Joski, hits it back, 5th and 4 also hits it back, they need to center from here, Wraith taking out Hemigum, it is centered, but Wraith is there, comes back, 5th and 4 does take out Hoyts, but it's not enough. Ooh, 5th and 4 just barely misses that. Cannot capitalize off of that center. And Hoyts hits it back out. And now this is anyone's game. With 2 minutes left, either team can get multiple points or just one. So we're just going to have to see what happens here. It, it is such a strong back and forth. 5th and 4 having a really good defense this match. Actually, everyone on the um, general side is. Striped Apple with a nice bottom side aerial there. The, they try to center it, 5th and 4 is there to defend again, just a really strong def defense. Jovski's there to block it, actually just barely Hemigum can't get it in. Jovski did not block that that much, Striped Apple just barely hits it, not, doesn't hit it in. Jovski with the amazing comeback defense, that was almost a point in the way of the Generals, but is not able to. 5th and 4 tries to get that re spinning corner shot in, can't do it. Misses his aerial, Braith hits it back over. With a minute left, Hemigum takes out Braith, but it's going to be interesting to see if either team can even get it in. Fifth and four, trying to aerial hit it. Hoyts and Braith are there to defend. Striped Apple does try to hit it in, but Jovski's there to get a really nice shot off. And Jovski's there to score! No one on the general side had enough boost. And they just capitalized off of that. All of them are actually in the air. They had to all drive back and use as much boost as possible. I think that was Striped Apple who was close to, but not able to. And that's that has to be frustrating for the general side. After such a strong start in the second match. After a self-inflicted goal. And just, in my opinion, a weak defense. The Mustangs just find that gap. And they say, hey, this is our match. This is our series. We are going to do it. There is a chance for the Generals to come back. It's only 3-2, to two, but with 20 seconds left, it's looking very dire. 
Ooh, just barely they can't get it in Jovski with an amazing save. Fifth and four. It's possible, but they hit it onto their side. They're gonna have to hit it all the way across the map. Striped Apple might have lost it for his team. He did not need to do that. Hemagum trying to hit it off, and it will hit the floor. Mustangs do win the second match 2-0 in favor of them. Generals cannot lose a single match before the series will go 3-0. Really strong match coming out of him, Jovski. Three goals, just such a strong player. I'd say if they do win this series, the MVP of the entire season or major, I th I'd, I'd say. He's just such a strong player. And if they win it, he'd obviously be one of the players who won the tournament. But there are some really strong players on the other teams as well. I definitely think that a lot of the players, Hemingum and Stripped Apple especially, are really strong players as well and this is just an all-out brawl you can tell that it's not just a shutout they each are so good at finding those tiny gaps in the defense where they can get goals so it's not like it's a one to one or zero zero match there's always stuff happening always goals getting made and that's what we want to see coming out of this series generals have to fight as hard as they can to get back into the series as i say that Jovski just barely hits it and misses it, but Hoyts is there, and Mustangs already up 1-0. If they win this match, they win the Major, and they do win, like I said, $600 equivalent of a Varsity points. Big prize pool, especially for these, for these players who really want to get into those colleges, have a good education, and focus on their career later on in life, and it's a great way to connect with other people. So, it does look like Jovski's gonna aerial hit it. Hemagum, not able to capitalize off of it, a bit too far, a bit too angled. Does look like they try to center it, fifth and four isn't there. Striped tries, but, Jovs but they, Bra they have Jovski, Braith, and Hoyts all there for the defense. And now we're gonna see how they respond to this. Hemagum does hit it, but Jovski and Hoyts are already there. Jovski, not a really strong hit there. Striped Apple misses the aerial. That could have been a goal, but not able. Striped Apple trying to center it, trying to go for an aerial. This might work. Just barely doesn't. Fifth and four, not able to get the aerial height that he needed. And as I say that, Striped Director didn't show me that clearly, sadly, but I think Hemagum, yeah, Hemagum centered it for Striped. And he hits it straight in the corner. That was actually such a fast goal. 106 kilometers an hour. That's actually decently fast. Especially since the ball was not going that fast in the corner. He just uses his boost and hits it in. And it's tied 1-1. One one. Generals are going to have to make the comeback of the series of this tournament to be able to win this match. But it is definitely possible. Mustangs, I would definitely say the stronger team coming into this match. But... The Generals, it's possible. I think that even the underdogs can always have a chance to win. But we are going to have to see what they can do, what they can find out of this Mustang defense, which is not a lot. But they are getting goals. They are capitalizing off of it. And that's exactly what they needed. Braith defending Hemagum in the air, trying to get an aerial, but too angled. Jovski and Hoist are able to defend as well. It's going to be a bit hard. And now everyone's there on the defense, trying to get it out of their goal. Striped Apple and 5th and 4, trying to center it, but not able to. It gets hit all the way back to the general side. There are 2 minutes and 45 seconds remaining, so we do have a lot of this match left. This could go anyone's way. They try to hit it in. Braith is there for the defense. Luckily, Joski was there as well. I don't think that would have been a goal anyway. But as I see that 5th and 4... By the foot, barely misses the goal, and that is crushing. Fifth and four tries to get a nice aerial, and Striped actually gets it in, and that is such a strong goal. Hemigum hitting it right up in the air. So does Fifth and four, and Striped and Hemigum both hit the ball, and it actually bounces off of I think that was Hoyts into the goal. Generals up two to one. They need to win this match to stay in the tournament. They need to. It's possible, it's going to take work, and I think that they've realized that and are working on that. Striped Apple trying to hit it in, not 
an angle enough to be able to do so. Joski and Braith are there for the defense. And if I were the generals, I would just be saying, defense, defense, defense. We have the score advantage. We are down a map. Let's play safe. Focus on the defense. But it doesn't look like that's what they're doing. It does look like they are going to be aggressive. Joski barely misses a goal, not able to capitalize. And fifth and four might just ram it into the goal, and he does, and it's up 3-1. And that is a massive misplay from the Mustangs. They needed to save their boost, and none of them are able to go in. Joski trying to, but just not able to. And fifth and four, very easy goal for him. Just holds W, or holds up on, uh, if he's using a controller, and just boost right into the goal. Here we go. Going into the match. One to three it, with a minute and a half left, definitely possible, but as I say, the striped apple gets a goal. This is becoming a really rough match for the Mustangs. They're going to have to come back from this next match. Striped apple, very nice shot from the corner. Gets it in, and he's having a, such a strong match with three goals and five shots compared to the Mustangs, who only actually had one shot and one goal, all, both on Hoyts, so the minute and a half left, they are going to have to do some very interesting things. Braith is there for the defense. Trying to get an aerial hit. Not possible. Having gone with a very nice aerial block there. Making sure that they can't even get close to centering it. Jovski does take out Hemingum though. Stripe trying to get a goal. Jovski's there for the defense. Fifth and four. Very nice aerial coming out from him. Making sure that they keep the pressure up. Striped actually missing, but Hemigum's there for the defense, and that could have been scary. Hemigum hitting it into the corner, actually backwards, but fifth and four is there. Just barely can't get it in off of the rim. Striped Apple also not at an angle to take that into the goal. Jovski does try to hit it at an angle. Hemigum is there. I think he actually slightly bicycle kicked that one. Jovski's there to hit it back. Fifth and four actually. Just barely not hitting it in. Hoyts does the bicycle kick back in. No one on the general side has enough boost. With 30 seconds remaining, it is looking like this match will go in the way of the Mustangs. We are going to have to see what happens. Anything can happen. It's Rocket League. This is a very fast-paced game. Very intense. And I've seen some crazy stuff happen. There are 10 seconds left. And I do think this is nearly impossible as I see that 5th and 4 blocks it, and now it's definitely impossible. This will go the way of the Mustangs. 4, 2, 1. GG's exchanged all around by both teams. Very, very sportsmanlike. It's what we like to see in HSEL. And we're going to get ready up and get right back into this. Generals do win the third map on the teetering edge of defeat. Coming back. And the Mustangs, if they lose this match, we will go on to the fifth map. Both teams will have an equal chance to be able to take this prize pool, able to take that paid bid into Nationals. That's what these teams want, that's what they're competing for, that's why they practice, and that's what they're trying to do. As I say that, Striped Apple! Oh no, Striped Apple, I'd say maybe 70% of the ball was in the goal but Hoyts just barely hits it out and that's just so crushing 5th and 4 passing it to Striped Apple to try to get it back 5th and 4 does in fact to do that it was a nice angle but they do have 3 on the defense Hemigum hitting it in from the top and gets the goal wow what a nice shot Hoyts Striped Apple hitting it straight up, Hemigum straight from the air, Joski barely missing, and does go the way of the Generals. They are up 1-0, but they are down a map. Getting right into the next round, Braith. First touch, obviously. Joski trying to aerial, same thing with 5th and 4, but uh, they kind of collide. Ball still goes on to the general side, as I see that, Striped does actually get a goal! All the way! He commits to it, and Hoyts is not there to defend! That is so crushing. With four minutes left in the match, I mean, it's definitely possible for the Mustangs to come back, obviously, especially with four minutes left, but it is looking like a really rough match. 
or even the last two matches with the Mustangs. Does look like it is going to be on the general side. They're probably going to hit it back. Looks like that is exactly what they're going to do. Braith and Joe Scare there for the defense. Hoyt's trying to be a bit offensive, but not able to capitalize off of it. Hoyt has the chance and he gets it. The defense was just not there for the general side. They tried, but fifth and four. Hits it away, has to go all the way back into the goal, but not able to. Hoyts gets a really nice goal, and um, Joski gets the assist. We're getting right back into this. Three, three minutes, 50 seconds left. This is anyone's game. I think anyone would agree, as I say that, instant goal five seconds into the round by Hoyts with an assist from Joski. Again, actually. Anyone's game, like I said, it's such a fast-paced game, it's sometimes hard to even figure out how they do it. How these players contemplate exactly what they're doing and how to set it up. The communication needs to be on point, and I think that's what we're seeing from both teams. Setting up those aerial shots, setting it up from each other. It'd be very interesting to see from an insider's perspective how these teams communicate and how they work together. It may be actual, you know, communication, but it also may just be playing together and practicing. However, we are going to get back into this map to focus on what's happening right now, which is actually the ball being on the Mustang side. It is a tied match. Anything can happen. Fifth and four trying to center it from the corner. It looks like he will. Joski tapping it. Striped apple. Oh, just barely not hitting it and Hoyt's with an amazing save it did look like they had the chance to but not able to Hemigum centering it hits it in Hoyt's is there to defend not a strong enough attack they need to get that ball in faster not in the sense that they need to do it quicker but they just need to add more velocity and that's exactly what Hemigum does fifth and four hits it off the corner Hemigum knows I'm very sure that he called it he said go 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 Hemigum go and Hemigum's like all right I'm doing it. It's it in. 3-2 in favor of the Mustangs. Mustangs are on the edge of defeat. But anything can happen. Generals definitely have the chance to come back into this series as a whole. And that's looking like what they're going to do. Hoyt's trying to center it. 5th and 4. Actually doesn't block it enough. And that's a goal for Hoyt's. If 5th and 4 block that further... That would have not have been a goal, but he just wasn't able to. Barely teeters off of the front of his car, and that is devastating. 3-3 three to three already. Six goals for in the entire match. Three for each team, and this is just such an intense match. I think this may be the closest and most skilled match of Rocket League I have seen in HSEL so far. striped trying to get a goal and it might be able to it's not in Hoyt's playing with it in a sense doesn't even hit it out instantly when it's halfway in the goal but the uh, general's not able to capitalize off of it striped and hemigum try to hit it in unable to and now Braith trying to quickly get it in not able to as well Hoyt and Joski are on the defense and 5th and 4, hitting it into the corner. He is actually centering it for, for them, but he does aerial hit it out very cleanly. Tries to center it. Joski's there to just pretty much stand there and block it. Stripe trying to aerial hit it to center. Won't work, but Hemagum's there to do it. And, oh no! Hemagum just barely misses the corner goal. They need to get a goal. That's what generals need. They, if they lose this, they will be out of the series. It is on the general side, and this is looking very scary. Great trying to use his boost. Striped Apple trying to hit it out. Does a good job of it. It is on the uh, Mustang side. Striped Apple actually, I think, rams into Jovski. Blocking any sort of progress made by either team. Jovski trying to hit it away. And my gum actually misses. Striped Apple, though, tries to defend. Great is here. Tries to hit it. And unable to. 40 seconds left. One of these teams needs to make a goal or will go into overtime. If you are new to this game, overtime is a first goal, first win. 
in the sense that the first team that gets the goal in overtime will instantly win the match. With 20 seconds left, that might be what happens. Striped trying to get a goal, trying to hit it and just barely misses. That could have been it, but not able to capitalize. And now we have 10 seconds. It's counting down. They need to figure out something. Having come centering it, not able to. They have five seconds to get a goal right now. It is going to hit the ground unless they hit the best goal I've seen in a long time in this game. Not able to. Goes into overtime. Mustangs need to win this match to move on to the fifth map. I mean, generals actually do. The Mustangs need to win this to secure their first place and their gold. Their beautiful gold medal that they desperately need and paid bid in nationals. Hemigum, barely missing. Not able to capitalize off of it. They're going on the offense, fifth and four, trying to do it, but Jovski and Braith are being very defensive about this. They don't want to let anything slip. As I say that, ball barely just doesn't go in. Hoitz is there as well. So intense. Striped, trying to hit it back. Braith does stay, being very passive about this. Does not want to make a mistake. Hemigum blocks it. Fifth and four also does, and this is very intense. We're it's we're almost a minute in. Neither team able to get a goal yet. Fifth and four actually try bicycle ac accidentally bicycling and not hitting the ball. Hemigum trying to get it, just barely misses. That could have been the match, but it, fifth and four is there for the assist. And with one minute into overtime, fifth and four taking it back, saying, "Hemigum, I got you. You don't need to do it." And it's over. Mustangs do win, and it will go into the fifth map after the fourth one going into overtime. This is the closest series we've had in a long time in this game, especially in such an important game such as the finals, the grand finals of the season. And we're getting a match like this. I feel privileged to be casting this, and I hope you guys are enjoying. We're going to be getting into this next match very, very shortly. And it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. Both teams with two points, two to two. The winner of this will take home the gold. The loser will take home the silver. And $150 compared to the gold of 600 and paid bid. Second place does not get that paid bid. It's not just about the varsity points. It's also about that paid bid. You have to remember that. And it looks like we're going to get straight into this. It was already on the Mustang side. Hemingham not able to capitalize, Hoyt's trying to hit it in, not able to, and definitely seeing some very intense matches. Hoyt's tries to get the corner shot, not able to. Joski tries to as well, hits it off of, actually doesn't even hit it off the rim, he did not hit that down enough, and Stripe Apple is there to defend as well, same with 5th and 4. Actually, uh, bumping into each other, Joski does hit it into the corner, and they did not expect that. I think that was, yeah, that was Hemigum expecting it to go in the corner. You can see him driving away, but Hoitz comes in from mid and hits it in. And that's already a point for the Mustangs. We are 43 seconds into this match, so anything can happen, but that is very frustrating for the Mustangs. Um, not for the Mustangs, the Generals, actually. And they would have to make such a strong comeback this could be the story of their entire rocket league career in hsel and they're fighting for it and they're going they're coming in so hard so strong after losing the first matches and it's amazing to see that but <sighs> joski another goal straight in actually centers it for himself and hits it in no one there with a boost enough. Hemigum tries. Same with Striped. Striped did not move forward enough and it just goes in. 2-0. to zero. Favor of the Mustangs. Generals need two points to secure overtime or even have a chance to take home a beautiful gold. We're gonna see what happens. Braith, Joski, and Hoyts are there for the defense. Hoyts being a, such a strong goalie. Really the defensive MVP for the team. If you look at his him statistically his saves are just insurmountable it seems over this entire season fifth and four 
does try to hit it, it's possible Bajowski's there to aerial, and that was very scary. That could have been a very long goal. Hemingham very quickly hits it in, but Hoyts is there to defend as well, and that is two saves for Hoyts already. Does hit it away, fifth and four does that as well, but Braith is there to defend. Hemigum trying to hit it from the corner, trying to aerial air, yeah, he bounces off the ceiling, cannot capitalize yet again. And I think that's the problem. Generals, they have ball control, they have it centered, they just can't capitalize. The Mustangs defense is so strong. We're gonna be getting right back into this. Anything can happen, it is centered, but Hoyts hits it back out. It does look like Striped Apple's trying to center it for his team, but Braith is there. Striped already on the defense. Very good about saving his boost. Very conservative. That's what we like to see. Hoyt's trying to be set up to get it in. Not possible. Just barely saved by him again. Oh, that's not good. Fifth and fourth almost gets an entire cross goal, but not able to. They did have Hoyt's on defense. Very strong player. Doesn't look like he does get a lot of defensive shots, but that's just because he's so good at even blocking it before they get close to being able. goal. Does look like Jovski is going to take out 5th and 4, and is maybe the chance Jovski already comes back. I actually think that might have um, disabled him a bit, because Jovski was already teleported to their side of the map. Minute 45, 2 goals needed to force us into overtime. That would be amazing, but... They're going to have to pull some tricks out of their rabbit hat. Fifth and four, trying to center it out. Braith, Joski is actually there for the defense. Oh, striped apple, such a strong goal coming in. Actually curves it right into the goal, right past Joski. He was not expecting that. You can see Joski, he was ready, but he curves it. Joski tries to bicycle hit, not possible. 1-2, to two, still in favor of the Mustangs, but with a minute 25, Generals can make the comeback history that will make history, and it will just be a massive comeback. Hits it off the rim, not able to capitalize. They needed to make sure that didn't go in. Luckily, it doesn't. Joski there for the defense. Ariel hits it. With a minute left, Generals need a goal. And with Hoyts being so defensive, same with Joski, it's just not looking possible. Especially with the time it's taken them. Four minutes to get one single goal. We're counting down now as the seconds tick by. These teams need to get a goal. They're sweating. They're shaking in their boots. They need to make it. The Generals in such, such a spot to lose this. But they can do it. We've seen it before. We, we can see it again. Braith with such a strong defense, though. It, I don't know if it's possible. 30 seconds remaining. Already half the time when I was talking about how they need to get a goal passed. They need to do it in the second half of that time. Or it will go the way of the Mustangs. Already at 20 seconds. It's going so fast. It seems. Points is there for the defense. That might be the game. They have 10 seconds left. They're also there to defend. They need to get a goal right now. Not possible. It's all the way on this side. It does look like this. It's going to go the way of the Mustangs. It can't touch the floor. It's on their side. It will touch the ground. And Mustangs will take home the gold. Very, very intense match. And give us some pop champs for the Mustangs. And their amazing road here. The Generals tried so hard to come back but just not able to, so close, and just such a good series from both teams. Like I said, Mustangs, $600, paid bid, very good prize pool. And even then, if you look at the Generals, 